going on everyone? In this video, I'm going to be talking about the parallelism and the correlation between someone that works at Citadel and AMC stock because I'm sure we all know and we're very excited for what AMC stock could potentially do Monday, June 21st. And so it's very important that we understand what someone that works at Citadel just recently said about AMC stock. And I don't think that a lot of people understand really what this worker is trying to say. And what the Citadel worker has been saying is exactly what has been going on for AMC stock. So let's go ahead and talk about one of the main important things that he said. He said that for hedge funds, for in order for them to be successful, a lot of these hedge funds use quant strategies, which are basically mathematical strategies. And one of the things that they also use is human biases and behaviors to be successful. And for those guys that do not really understand what that means, it is basically psychology of the market. We've heard a lot of people saying that one of the most important things to be successful in these types of markets is to have a psychology. Otherwise, people will be able to manipulate the market for you. And then even if you have conviction in a stock, because your psychology is not in line with what is currently going on in the market, you will end up probably losing. And that is why there is not a lot of successful people in the markets. Now, I'm sure we've all heard about this, but this is exactly what has been happening, guys. How many times have we seen AMC stock go to a resistance level, retrace, go back to a resistance level, retrace, go back to a resistance level, and now still retracing, guys. We still have this red candle over here. And so this is very interesting because one of the authors of this article that I was reading was talking about how these hedge funds, especially Citadel, has been trying to manipulate these markets so that they try to make a lot of retail investors happy when the price spikes of AMC. However, I'm sure we all remember that day when AMC went all the way from $77 a share all the way back to, I think, $38 a share roughly. And that was definitely not the best day at all. And there was a lot of panic, which is why we saw AMC stock drop dramatically. Because, yes, 80% of retail traders own AMC stock. However, 60% of hedge funds or market manipulators are actually the ones controlling the price action of AMC. And so that's why it's very important that we understand what this worker at Citadel was trying to say. Because if you understand this, guys, in my opinion, I think we will all become very good at trying to trade AMC stock, whether it is for a day trade or whether we are having the conviction to hold AMC stock for the long term. Which, by the way, guys, I am holding, uh, in my opinion, I think AMC will go to at least $100 a share. At least 100 meaning that I expect AMC to go even higher than $100 a share. But again, that's just my opinion. And I'm going to be explaining why I believe it should be going to at least $100 a share uh, with technical analysis. But I'm going to be going over that in just a few seconds. I still want to talk about the fact that in AMC stock especially, and this was happening in GameStop as well, there would be cycles where AMC stock and GameStop would go up throughout consecutive days. And then we would have one red day or a few red days actually would be consecutive. And then it would cause so much fear in the market. And it would cause these retail traders to be so sad and so frustrated. And that ended up making AMC stock and GameStop fall even more. And that is exactly what we have been seeing right here. Because you would see AMC go all the way to that $60 level. And then these market manipulators and these hedge funds, they end up dropping the price all the way back to that same exact level that it previously went to. Now, some may argue that this is just basic support and resistance, and while I do believe that support and resistance have some effect on the volatility of AMC stock and GameStop, I also do believe that these hedge funds are trying to make it difficult for these retail traders to withstand all of this time and all this endurance throughout AMC, because it is definitely not easy to endure all this volatility, and sometimes when you see a stock drop so dramatically, it really makes you think who is controlling these price actions and in my opinion and what you guys really think too is that a lot of this is being controlled by the hedge funds and in one statistic it was actually found that 60% of these hedge funds actually control the market. So make sure you guys understand that when you guys are trading AMC stock in the future whether you guys are day trading it or holding it for the long term because in my opinion I think that'll really end up helping you guys. One of the strategies that they use is also standard deviation. I know that is a very popular one and all these mathematical algorithms because as soon as AMC hits this certain price target that is when these market manipulators will start placing these huge buy orders and then once they start seeing that this price of AMC goes to this certain price target where it's actually very low that is when they will start selling AMC stock because they think that the momentum is over even though the volume is definitely not indicating that the AMC momentum is over and so that creates a lot of negative momentum and even more fear and also one of the things is with these hedge funds is that you cannot see their orders guys you cannot see like regular trader how many orders how many buy orders how many sell orders they are placing that is why when you see a major downfall on a stock like AMC a lot 
lot of it could be attributed to retail traders. However, most of it is probably due to hedge funds. And in my opinion, these hedge funds will create more volatility with AMC stock. Um, and one of the ways that they will do it is they also use, again, as I stated, these mathematical algorithms. They use standard deviation, guys. As I said, standard deviation is very popular tool amongst these hedge funds and basically how standard deviation works is that the closer that a stock price is to the average price or to the mean price of a stock that is called a low standard deviation but as soon as a stock price goes farther away from the mean that is called a higher standard deviation and basically these standard deviations allow these market makers to place their buy orders and their sell orders. And basically if a stock has a high standard deviation, that would be good for these hedge funds because that is usually when they will be selling their AMC stock because they want profit. And that is exactly what has been happening right over here. Because in my opinion, the high standard deviation is really what is making these market makers get that profit. And then because they are trying to sell so much, because again, the standard deviation is very high, or in other words, the stock price is far away from the average price of AMC stock, this is when they are taking a lot of their profit. However, when a stock goes to these resistance levels, or in other words, has their high standard deviation mark, then because they end up selling so many of their shares, what is going to end up happening is they will try to make the stock go back to a low standard deviation, or in other words, they'll try to get the stock price as close as possible to the average the usual stock share price and so that is what ends up allowing the stock of AMC to go all the way back to its support levels and right now it looks like the support level for AMC would be around $42 but even the support level guys I think that it is just way too low I do not think that at this point because of the AMC momentum that these hedge funds can allow AMC to go that low and so actually I don't think that we may ever see these support levels ever again right the $42 level and the $40 level because as we all know, a lot of people have very high price targets for AMC. And so with that being said, I think that the new support level would be at the $52 level or the $52 mark. And so this is where I think the new standard deviation or the new low standard deviation is probably going to be for AMC stock. Just because I think around this area would be the new mean or the new average for AMC stock. And so because of this, this will create a lot of consolidation, which is what we are currently enduring right now. Right now, AMC has been kind of slow for the long-term traders. However, not for the day traders because as I said before, day traders, this is what they do. They like to scalp for a quick few points. And so for the day traders, AMC has been no problem. However, for the long-term traders, it is probably very difficult because it is taking a very long time or some may consider it a long time for AMC to have a major breakout all the way back to its all-time highs. However, in my opinion, I think that AMC will have a breakout very soon. And also, it is not just me or my opinion that believes that, but it is also the RSI and the stochastic RSI that also believes the same thing. Because I'm on the daily chart right now, and on the stochastic RSI, it looks like it is about to have a bottom, or it actually looks like it is in a bottom. Because every time we're at this low level right here, AMC stock usually has an insane movement to the upside, and it usually goes up a lot after that. Um, this is exactly what happened at around the beginning of May. And then after the beginning of May, the stochastic RSI ended up crossing, and then the stock of AMC went all the way from $10 a share all the way up to $77 a share. And then even the stochastic RSI, it even indicates when there will usually be a top in the market. That is when AMC stock temporarily fell from $77 a share all the way down to $30 a share. So again, these are why sometimes indicators may be accurate. But again, guys, these indicators are not 100% accurate just because AMC stock has increased exponentially high. So again, these are just technical indicators computed by the computer. So again, computers are not 100% accurate all the time. Um, but even now, again, guys, this Kaskar size is indicating that we are approaching a very near bottom. And at this point, it is just a matter of time as to when these two lines end up crossing. And then I believe that there will be another monumental break out to the upside for AMC stock. That is also what the RSI is indicating, uh, just because RSI is a measure of strength. And so the volume is also indicating that there is still strength in the AMC stock. Otherwise, if there was not strength, I do believe that AMC would already be trading lower, but it is not. It's actually trading very high right now. And I expect this momentum to have a continuation, and I expect the RSI to be very high in the next few days. And the only bearish indicator would be the MACD, but even the MACD, it has not crossed yet, so we are not in a bearish territory for AMC yet. 
if we were to base all of this technical analysis just off the MACD. And the MACD is not entirely bearish either because we do still have some positive correlation with the green volume bars right here. So with that being said, guys, next week is going to be a very monumental week for AMC because it looks like we are about to have a major breakout to the upside. So with that being said, guys, this week is going to be a very important week for AMC and I'm very excited to see whether AMC ends up having that breakout to the upside and then with that breakout, AMC, in my opinion, will go to exponential levels again or whether AMC will continue to have more consolidation in the future. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Got me singing like James Bond.